still connecting. We can't people. hear you, bro. We can't hear you. There we go. There he is. <laughs> Listen, like YouTuber, I, I like YouTuber. I feel like I've never used a Zoom before. YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Morning. What's up? How you doing? What are you eating? Oats. Ooh, I thought it was like ramen. I think it's a bit early for that. <laughs> ramen. What? Can you imagine? No, no, no just no oats. Ramen. Yeah. <laughs> So apart from not being able to use a computer and now the jig is up, how are you doing? Yeah, good, good. Um, just, I don't know, it's, if anything, I'm actually calm. Like, I'm pretty used to this now. Like, <laughs> um, at first I was like, oh, what is this? Like, I have to be indoors the whole time. But, you know, I kind of went back to just being a YouTuber and now I'm actually loving it. If anything, <laughs> I'm like, this is the blessing in disguise. Obviously, it's a terrible situation, but I'm trying to find a silver lining. And the mm-hmm. silver lining is, I'm posting more on YouTube. I'm, st- you know, more active uh, when it comes to like training. I have more time, so it- it's actually cool. Like I'm making the most of it. It's a good time for people to get more like creative and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So that's good. Yeah, creative, have you got- productive, etc. Have you got any tips, people at home who might be struggling? Uh, exercise, exercise, hundred mm. percent. Like I exercise almost every single day. Um, I without fail, I do thirty kilometers every week. Yeah, literally just of running, just to stay fit. <laughs> Being is... incorrect, like, mm, five. <laughs> but it's out of breath, just out of breath. But uh, no, it's just good, just to keep fit. Um, because obviously, whenever you run or exercise, you release endorphins, and that makes mm-hmm. you feel better. So yeah, that's important. And um, yeah, just you know, learn new skills, learn. Anyway, learn how to like edit, learn a new language, learn how to uh, record music. You know, there's so many things you, that you can learn. All you need to do is type on YouTube. How do you do this? And there's a tutorial. Mm. So, and if there isn't a tutorial, then there's your uh, <laughs> there's your <laughs> in the market. There's your <laughs> <music> <laughs> selling point. <laughs> So. so do you have like an isolation rhythm not one of your own but do you have an <laughs> yeah, yeah. isolation rhythm that you've been playing to kind of get you through? uh i actually have like a list on my uh spotify uh, yeah let me, let me get out this is a prepared guy you know no a professional <laughs> we love it uh so i've got let's go by uh run the jewels mm. uh guillotine by john bellion uh addison ray the kid Leroy. Uh, Squeeze and Bust by Unknown T. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Short, Short and Sweet by Hardy Hardy Caprio. Uh, Dior by Pop Smoke. Big. Yeah, yeah. Shimmy from Amine. Yeah, Don Tolliver. Like, I've Big got, rhythms, I've, you know. Oh, a few. Yes. Yeah. Go on, and a lot of variety in there as well. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Literally, yeah. Perfect. Not just one time. Okay, let's talk your music now, because of course we've had okay. Down Like That, uh, Wake Up Call, mm. and now we got Houdini, yeah, a favourite yeah. of ours. Oh, All of them, no. <laughs> very different styles. Is the yeah. album kind of like that? Is it very, very too? Yeah, yeah. There is just so many different styles of music on the album that people, you, know, you won't know what to expect. And that's why I'm so excited, because obviously I have a huge audience. It's like worldwide. So mm-hmm. I have to try and cater to as many people since I've got people from like the whole boxing era or the whole boxing crowd and then, you know, a bit from the music crowd, a bit from YouTube crowd, YouTube gaming crowd, et cetera. Like mm. I've got all these different crowds. So I have to try and please as many people as possible. So that's why I wanted to make sure there was a lot of variety when it came to this album. And I feel like I accomplished that with the album and the deluxe. So it's, yeah, very exciting. Very, very exciting. And when it comes to Houdini, the single, how was it working with Tion Wayne and Swarms? Like, how did that hookup come about? Yeah, so it actually just um, came up with Swarms sending me um, the hook. So he mm. sent the hook. There was no... Well, actually, I'll tell a lie. There was... Uh, he did do a verse, but uh, <laughs> I think I scrapped that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took that. that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we, might, we, we might release that one day, but uh, yeah, we took the remix. Yeah, you never know, you never know. But yeah, we took that off, and I was like, all right, let me do my thing. And <laughs> it was just me and Swarms. And uh, I talked to Mams, who's my um, music manager, and I was like, oh, let's try and get Tion Wayne on this. This would be mad. Um, I think it was between J1 and Tion Wayne. Mm. Like, you can't get uh, Tion Wayne, we'll get J1. 
And uh, yeah, Tion Wen just was like, yeah, yeah, give me that, give me that, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that was the top 10. So yeah, it's a mad thing. But, you know, we yeah. have a little theory at Capital Extra. Okay, Shayna Marie and I have a theory that um, on. Swarms is on your song because now he's got a million followers. So you guys are in the <laughs> mini club. <laughs> Well, every time I do, you made it. You can come yeah. in. <laughs> every time I do a song with someone, they just get millions of views. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we have a song next? Or, uh, yeah. or what? Can, <laughs> there's space on the album. <laughs> yeah, please. A few ad libs here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. All right. Talk to us more about the album. It's called Dissimulation. Yeah. And it's featured on there from uh, T and Wayne, of course. Uh, mm. Lil Pump. Mm. Trippy Red, Jeremiah, mm. Offset. That's, that's a big deal. Yeah, Keep yeah. Rick Ross, Lil Baby. Yeah, like I, I'm coming in with, you know, big, big powers. <laughs> but um, it's kind of, I just wanted to show people that, you know, where I'm at and that I can um, make music with these people. Like, I didn't want people to think, uh, I'm out of my depth, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I've got a few songs of my own as well where I hold my own. And, you know, I do bits and like one of my favorite songs is Domain, which I've been hyping up a lot. And people understand why when I drop it, because it's a hybrid of music. It's not, it's like grime with rock with, I know, rap. It's it's just a weird, it's a weird um, hybrid. And the funny thing is, uh, I don't think I've ever said this to anyone. This this, um, beat was actually made for Getz. So produ- uh, producer SX it was his name. Obviously SX now, but uh, yeah, he um, made the beat and he made it for Getz. And I heard it. I was like, "Yo!" I mean, I think he sent it to Getz, but Getz didn't ever get back. But I heard it. I was like, "Yo, give me this! I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm madders." So yeah, I'm gas to that. And uh, yeah, you know, like obviously I called it dissimulation. Um, hide one's thoughts or feelings, and I wanted to show the different sides of me so the ksi side and the jj side so the jj a lot more personal uh private side that a lot of people don't see publicly whereas ksi is the you know big egotistical guy that everyone sees publicly. <laughs> i wanted to shine show both sides as well with that so yeah do you find that as somebody who began on youtube yeah. that maybe you don't get as much credit from other artists or music fans as you feel like you might deserve because you do have, you know, an, a song in the top 10. You have albums, you've got these features, you're, mm. you fill the bars, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you feel like you don't get the credit. Yeah, no, I definitely feel like I have to work harder than um, a lot of musicians, if not all musicians, because of where I'm at. You know, a lot of people just say, oh, you're only doing well because you already have an audience or you're not, you know, you're not musically talented. You haven't been doing this long enough. I've been doing this for like 10 plus years. It's just that mm. obviously, People have seen me just as a YouTuber and then now a boxer and then, you know, et cetera. So, um, yeah, no, I've been doing this. I've been doing this a lot. And it's one of those things where I feel like I have to just constantly put out content, um, good content when it comes to music, just put out more music, better music, better mm-hmm. music. And I have to just slowly change people's perceptions. And, you know, it's going to take time. And I know that. And, you know, I'm here for it. And, no, with each album that I release, uh, I'll slowly change people's minds. And eventually people will be like, hey, yo, turn on that new KSI. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even eventually. We Our mentions, yeah. yeah. When we when we mention your name once on Campus and Extra, our mentions are like, oh, well, they're going to play it. Play it now. So oh, people, uh, people be screaming already. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. Like, once you make tunes that people can actually, you know, rally up and ride with, then it becomes easier. But I just need to keep doing that. And, uh, you know, I'm getting there. Just, but know. I do have to say that you've even proven people like Shayna and myself wrong because yeah. when we first started playing your songs on Capital Extra, I was like, it's because he's famous. And then I was like, yeah. one second. <laughs> this is a- oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <I was> like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so You're Thank doing God. a good job. You're doing Thank a good you. job, Thank sir. Uh, who would be your dream collab next? I mean, you've got so many on the album already. Um, who is one that you like? You uh, really want to me, get? Me, ASAP Ferg, man. Ooh. I love his energy. I love his energy. And I think that would be insane. I think that would be insane. I think one would, uh, me, me and Storms would be humongous. Like, like that would be ridiculous as well, obviously. Everyone's um, internet would break. Oh, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, it would be a mad thing. It would be a mad thing. Um, uh, I'd love to do one with Skepta as well. Mm. I, I, you know, I, I rock with Skepta a lot. Um, yeah, um, 
I get you know slow tie is cool. I, like, I do like slow tie. Mm-hmm. Um, like yeah, I mean those those are the main ones for me. There isn't obviously you know like people are gonna say Drake, Future, you know all them lot. But like I don't know for me, I'd be like, obviously I'd be gas for Drake. It'd be insane. But mm-hmm. I don't think I'm at that level yet. If you know what I mean, I I don't want to jump the gun. I want to just you know slowly get to that point where I'm making mm-hmm. big tunes with. Obviously, the likes of um, you know Drake or Travis Scott, etc. But right now, I want to just I I guess find my space, find my own before I you know again I make those tunes with those people. But yeah, know, obviously, Stormzy ASAP would be sick. But yeah, in due time, in due time. So the last time we spoke to you uh, officially on Capital yes. Extra was just after your fight with Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah. Be honest. How many times have you watched it back? Uh, if I'm being honest, probably about, probably like four times, four or oh. five times. Not that many. Yeah, yeah like um, I watched it just to, I guess, remember what actually happened. Mm. And then, you know, obviously the moment <laughs> when I win always gasses me up. But uh, yeah, not that many times. Like I think for me, um, I'll probably look back at it um, for my next fight um, just so I can just look back and see okay how can i improve blah 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 yeah. right now i'm kind of just focusing on myself focusing on the music you know staying fit and uh yeah just are you still training for boxing at the moment yeah 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 mm-hmm. so when's the when's the next fight i have no idea no, i have no idea <laughs> no, i mean corona's messed everything up so yeah. yeah yeah no one has any idea for anything like i don't think we can even get space for next year for a, a fight because every- mm. Everyone's booking everything. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah. Literally, like every single venue is just getting packed because obviously everyone is trying to perform. You know, musicians, um, mm-hmm. comedians, um, um, boxers, etc. Like everyone's trying to get a space just to perform next year. So it's going to be, it's going to be tough. Um, when we saw you last time, I said that I wanted to fight you, and that still stands. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, <laughs> but not in a good way. Like I feel like you know it would be it would be fun. No, no, it'll be good. Yeah, yeah. But do you have anybody like on your list that like, now that you're kind of like established and that like, you know that you can you can hold it in the ring? Do you have somebody who you've got your eye on? Is it Tommy Fury? Uh, mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Um, uh, I don't really know. Hmm. <laughs> I saw actually I saw H, you know, on the pipes <laughs> the other day. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know what? Michael Bang. <laughs> but, uh, that would be great. I got a few people saying, Oh, you guys should fight, but I don't know. I, <laughs> But he looks like he bruises like a peach, though. Yeah, it's not yeah, fair. I, I think we're in different weight class as well. Like, I'm yeah. I'm cruiserweight right now, and I'm pretty sure he's, like, a featherweight or something like Get that. Get that boy some McDonald's, something. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Poor babes. Right. Okay, we're going to play a quick game of uh, One's Got To Go. So it's pretty okay. self-explanatory. Yeah, You've yeah, got to yeah. pick one that has to go. Okay. But you got to be quick, though. you got to be quick. Okay. Ready? Yeah, sure. YouTube or music? Oh, music. Nice. Uh, boxing or gaming? Uh, boxing. Tion Wayne or Swarms? <laughs> oh, that's not, nah, that's not fair, man. <laughs> nah. Big one. All right, we'll, do, nah. <laughs> we'll do one a little bit easier. We'll do one a little bit easier. All right. Yeah. Yinka or Shane Marie? Oh, brilliant, brilliant. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no, no this, this is a lose lose. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> All right, Cran, that's the game done. You you won with yeah, oh, flying wow. colours. Well done. Not well just done. Trying to cause trouble. <laughs> well, I'm uh, the drama. Yeah. All right, what is next for KSI once the album drops? Um I guess you can't I, imagine that you're allowed out of your house. Okay. Um yeah. I guess I'll, I might work on an EP. Um just you know, again doing some mad songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, again, trying to break the boundary of um, what a YouTuber can do. And, uh, yeah, um, I don't know, I guess, see what's up with, you know, the fight. I, I probably still continue YouTube. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess I just... I've, I've created my own world. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can live my life. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't Rain. Know. <laughs> uh, well, KSI, okay, so thank you so much for joining us on Capital Extra. Yeah, thank you for having me. And um, yeah, it's been wicked. I actually look forward to seeing what you get up to next. I know it's going to be amazing. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you.